Okay, uh, let's see. We'll probably show some different angles, so let's have you like kind of perpendicular. Okay, let's zip through this real quick. This is a half guard. He's in control of the knee line. Where do I want to be? Above the knee line. What's our little rhyme or saying? Win the chin and pin. I need to not only get the head, win his chin, pin the shoulders. So, boom, boom. And today, guys, I'm not as worried if we're making a gi grip and pulling him in, if I'm planting for extra base. Uh, we've talked about safety net over. We've talked about safety net under. What was the other thing we talked about on Wednesday, you guys remember? Lifting, palming the spine. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now it's like the princess and the pea as I go back down, it becomes double uncomfortable for Adrian. Now there is a minus for this. I can't just pull my hand out if he goes to bridge me. So like most things, I'm gonna sacrifice sometimes position for pressure or vice versa. So today, any of the stuff that we wanna do, usually pretty good if I'm planning on passing. What if I've been trying this and I can't tripod, I can't shake him, I can't get my shoelace pass. Maybe I can't get over, I don't feel like transferring under. Let's give us another option. I still have to win the knee line. Now, rotate a little bit. If I want to move to the back from three, uh, three quarter mount or a half guard where I've cleared the knee line, whether I have cleared the knee line and I'm safely in a true three quarter mount, or maybe I tripod and shook him down and my knee is still kind of on my partner. If I'm controlling the head and he has this arm frame, there's no real path to the back. So here's my suggestion. If we're gonna to try to move to the back from some type of a half guard, clear the underhook first. Traditionally, I'll be on the head, which naturally gives him an underhook. So today, here's what, I, here's what I'd suggest that we try. I'm in my normal half guard. I've already won the battle for the knee line. I've won the chin and I've pinned the shoulders. When I'm ready, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna really exaggerate my shoulder, and I'm just gonna simply run an arm pummel from here while still trying to control his chin as much as possible. I'm gonna come down and hit my underhook. Now, if I can't just force it up, I'm gonna have to do what? Finger walk him up. Now, I'm gonna try to get his bicep to touch his ear. I'm gonna chin pummel, use my head, and trap the elbow. This is gonna let me start to work into with either a one-handed or my two-handed gift wrap. Guys, we're always looking for the two-handed gift wrap. It's the holy grail. Now, if you pay attention to my knees, I don't know if you guys can see him right now, he has still won the battle for the knee line. He is above my knee. I get, there's no problem linking up this gift wrap first. Now going back into my tripod series to win the knee line. Now, whether I go to three quarter mount and staple my knee, which I find easier because it creates upper back exposure, or I come up, I put it here. My left knee has to hike up high. And when I mean high, I mean a minimum of his shoulder line. Preferably I want it right by his skull. Now I'm starting to transfer my weight. Chair sit, I'm gonna sit him up, tuck in behind him and roll to the far hip. Set my top side hook. And what's one of our, once I move to the back of the gift wrap, however I get there and I have this Kimura connection, I can let go. I can, I'm already in my, if I won't let go, I'm in my what? Seat belt. If I keep the wrist, I can simply run that two on one. Transfer. I can start digging for lapels. I can go with kind of the nogi method. What if I'm still having a hard time? I can hand trap and I can start running palm to palm connections or rear naked chokes. So all that talk, I will give you guys a little more leeway today with this because I know most of us have seen this before. Maybe you have or maybe you haven't, I don't know. But I know at least my guys that are on mat with me today, we've seen this before. So I won't micromanage you too much. I want to give you guys a little bit of time to play with it. So let's show it two more times in the smoother without me beating your eardrums to death with words. If I'm gonna chair sit, I've got to get the underhook before I even start my pass series. So I'm here. None of this stuff is working. None of it's working. Okay. Pummel, finger walk, trap, transfer, at least one, if not two hands. You in the knee line, whether I staple or not. High knee on the back. As I sit to my hips, sit them up, pull them across. Now we have our points. And then wherever I go from there, one arm strangles, neckties, kata hajimes. Coat hangers, triangles, arm bars, wrist locks, into the legs, back to the toe holds. Guys, we have options, but for right now, play around for a little bit. Any questions, I'll be around. Ready? One, two, three.